Hey guys, what's up? ZorakX01 here, and we're back with Life is Strange. I haven't finished uploading the first episode. But, this game's been on my mind for a while, and I really wanted to get to episode 2. I just really, really wanted to play episode 2. And, I don't know, this is what episodic series is actually supposed to make you do, is make you think, especially this game. And, uh... I, I gotta say, I'm really, really enjoying the game. I can now see why people, like YouTubers now, did this game so much and, have do and are doing this game so much. Because of how much fun it is. It's not fun, like... I mean, it's got a good gameplay mechanic where you could reverse time and redo the choices. And I, I don't know much about the story yet because we're only on episode two. But... From the episode I did play, I'm really, I'm really enjoying it. So, uh, let's go play episodes. We're gonna play Out of Time, and I don't think we're gonna be playing Chaos Theory. Today, at least. Yeah, I, don't, I doubt we're gonna play that today. Because, uh, I don't know, I'm, I have, uh, I think I have some other stuff to record. I get a free episode? Holy crap. Alright. Girls Dormitory. Let's go. From what I remember is it Okay, yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Whoa. What the fuck? But he could be talking about photography. Or have you done something wrong? Talk to me. I ain't done hey, shit. Victoria. What do you want, Max? I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No. <laughs> For reals, Warren, this is between you and me. Don't insult me. Max, go on. Hey, leave him alone! Fucking psycho. Max? Chloe? It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Welcome home, Max. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. Something happened to her. Wait! Is that grass? Tell me the truth. That's an order. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Max, tell me everything. Even still, I wouldn't believe someone had time travel powers or visions. Even if it did start snowing. When it was warm out. I hate alarms. Started music already, great. Can't wait to get this, get hit with a match content party thing now. Oh boy. Time, time, oh she's reading a bunch about uh, time travel I guess. I have a theory about this game that I don't think, I'll, I'll tell you at the end of this episode. But I was running it by Ian too. Be strange. Episode two, out of time. I like the bird shirt. That's me every morning. Is I just don't want to get up. I just stare at my ceiling for about like twenty minutes. No amount of rewind will keep me clean. I still need a shower. Mrs. Hoida is still out sick. I heard somebody say she has severe depression. Poor thing. That's terrible. Mm. 
Now I have to wonder if any of these films are based on a true story. <laughs> All these time travel films. That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. That was a good hockey game and a great fight. Yeah. Man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. It's a Fremont Troll? The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. Alright, let's see what kind of fun. Right, should we got? Uh. Even with all this crazy shit going on, it is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. Also for her like, to believe. I better not leave without my shower supplies. Oh. Fucking shower supplies. Okay, Max. Let's hit the showers now. Alright, I can already tell something bad's gonna happen in the room. Do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like, now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I am so on it. Consider it done. You're so smart, but you have other people doing your shit for you. Loser. Ow! Where did that come from? Wait, 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 wait. Alyssa, can you stand over there? Um, okay, Max, if that makes you happy. Ah. Wow, now that was close. Thank you, Max. No problem. Fucking hero. We ran over there, dickweed. Oh, the Vortex Club are such pigs. I'm glad I pissed Whatever them off. Whatever they're watching must be hot stuff. I didn't think Kate was like this. All right. on those bros. Girls' bathroom back there. We shouldn't be watching this. It okay, apparently not. Uh, showers. Okay, here we go. Hey, Kate. Hey, Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. No problem. Anytime. That guy has issues. Doesn't everybody here? By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. If I don't forget. Crap, if I need to remember that shit, I'm going to forget it. Unless Max tells you you should really bring this paper to, or this book to her. That's the only way I'm going to remember. A real chance I'm just going to fucking forget. Uh, I have terrible memory. I forget normal shit. Oh, What's great. Up, Kate? The bitch patrol. School. That's it? That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Clubbing? Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up, and you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yup, I still have goddamn paint all over my face. 
Good thing my faithful minions took their sweet time bringing me a towel. We ran all the way- Give it a rest, Taylor. Now I know if I'm in an accident, I won't rely on you or Courtney for help. You can hang out with Kate. Or Max. Bitch. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. What the fuck? <laughs> Not if I can help him, I'll wipe that thing right off the mirror. She got drops really quickly. Let's wipe this off the mirror. I better get dressed than go give back Kate's book. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. And let's... Hello? Water? Sorry. Sorry. I forgot. Rachel is a whore. <laughs> That's not very nice. Alright. Time to get my book. Or her book. <sighs> Nobody messes with me, bitch. Uh, no fucking way. This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up after I find Kate's book. Oh, it's a psychopath. Man, this could almost be art if it wasn't so fucking sick and disturbed. Oh, Lieutenant... Oh, shit. Uh. Nathan's revenge. Even Chloe told me not to go to the principal. No book here. Of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. Oh. I better fix this fast. Kate needs the book and I don't want to add to her list of problems. Be gone, foul soft drink. Nice. Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. Uh, do I have to clean all this shit up? Should I get dressed or something? Yeah. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week. And he couldn't even rewind time. Also, isn't the same... Oh, yeah, no, it's not. Uh... Now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. Hey. As if I have to worry about being late anymore. I do have all the time in the world now. I don't even know where her room is. Uh... Keep a smart mouth shut about everything or else I'm coming for your ass. I know where you sleep. Oh shit. Now I'm getting anonymous threats? It never ends. This has to be from Nathan. But it could be anybody. I better be doubly careful around here or I could be in serious danger. Well, bang I'm not already. Kate? You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Max. Does your room always have to be so dark? Uh, here. Um, hey, Kate. I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? It was the right thing to do. I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would. But it's nice to see that you care about me. Kate, I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. Why does he think that? Because he saw the video. 
You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but tell me about the video and maybe I can help. 